Hey, Zach and Carlo. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a quick video tour of the um, off-market listing that we have, the 760 Megan Place. Um, I know I showed you guys a couple pictures, um, but let me kind of shoot a quick video for you. I just went through and turned on all the lights and it's a, it's a pretty cool house, I'm not even gonna lie. So here's the front. We got the patio. Definitely gonna probably want new siding all along the side. There is a zero lot line right here that attaches to the house next to it. Um, one of the neighbors was telling me that the house next door has been completely remodeled as well. Um, hard to see, but more than likely we'll need a new roof because one of the neighbors, same one, Jeff, um, said he hadn't seen him replace it since he'd been there. Um, and he lived in the neighborhood for, oh, I'd say about 20, 25 years. So when you walk in, this is the entry. A lot of this stuff is still the original from 72 when it was built. Fun staircase, they don't do those anymore. Wish they did. But we got wood paneling on the wall. And this is kind of like the living room. Track lighting up top. To the right of the living room is like an office. Technically this could be a bedroom because there is a closet. Um, but it looks like Gil, the owner, is, or sorry, Mel, the owner is using it as his office. Then we do have a little bathroom right here. Sink, toilet, and back here, a standard shower. Looks like tile and then a fiberglass insert at the bottom. This does also connect into the laundry room. Right here. Laundry room goes into the garage, of course, right in here. So two car garage, um, and the neighbor was telling me, where's the light switch? There we go. The neighbor was telling me any time that there's a zero lot line in this community, that the garage is actually a pass through to go that way. Um, and it goes into the backyard. We'll go to the backyard in a second. Um, those pictures of the backyard that I took um, were from that door. And while we're here, let's look at the HVAC unit. Looks like he tracked everything with the most recent being June 13th, 2021, of the last time he replaced the filter. Um, let's see if I can see when this was manufactured. Manufactured in 2010. So, I mean, 11 years old, maybe a little bit newer if it was installed later, but he's got some new filters there. So it looks like he kind of stayed up on it. Um, like I said, the seller is in the hospital, so, um, I don't know what his health condition was like and, and what uh, was kept off on and what wasn't. So it looks like we do have a little closet in here as well. A lot of doors fighting with each other in here. This little coat closet. So we have living room there, front door, whoops, accidentally came open. Seems like it doesn't want to latch. I mean, this is probably going to be a complete remodel anyway. Um, but yeah. Cool. So let's go through here. This is the living room or dining room, I guess, however you want to use it. It does have a fireplace, real wood. Not sure when the last time that was cleaned. This is the back door to the patio. And he does have a really good size yard. So it is again, open up to, that's the neighbor's yard actually, my apologies. So there's the fence. So this is the yard here. Mm, I don't really 
really see any grass. Probably because it's pretty shaded back here. Got some nice big trees. Let's see if we can get some action in the back of the house here. So back of the house, same thing. Looks like the original windows. Maybe a little bit better view of the of the roof for you. And definitely could have probably want some siding. Probably all the way around the house. The deck looks to be in pretty good shape. Let's get underneath it here. No nest or anything, so that's good. But it is like a tiered backyard. You do have some stonework back here. It's really cute. It's quiet. Those neighbors aren't even looking in on you. It's a good location. For sure. You could add a three-car extended there, too. Just build it out. Could be a three-car tandem. I don't know. You guys probably know what you're doing. <clears throat> okay. So this is the kitchen. Kind of small, but we do have a little island here. Nice big window. And another window there. Oh, AC unit's out back. We will go back out there and check out the edge of that real quick. Um, looks like Vermica countertops, electric range, older fridge. These are, they feel like real wood, but they're kind of light. I don't know. I don't know exactly what those are, to be honest. Yeah, it's like, feels like press board almost. I don't know. But let's go check the age of the AC unit. I didn't see it out there. I apologize. I'm assuming around the same age since the HVAC <clears throat> was replaced around 2010. like manufactured 2008 so about 13 years old give or take depending on when it was installed <clears throat> this is such a great backyard some and peel and paint down there the carpet the neighbor was saying was the original from the 70s as well um, when you're walking on it, there's definitely no padding left underneath it. It's just mashed down carpet. So we'll go upstairs first and then we'll finish with the basement. So you do have a cool light fixture up there. This is your view from the middle of the stairs. The view from down here. So when you come up the stairs, you do have bathroom right in front of you. We'll just go to the left first though. So the left is the first bedroom. This is not the master, obviously. But good amount of space. Across the way here into the master. So the master does have a big closet right there. This really cool ceiling pitch that goes up. This is his master bedroom. Looks like he's been living downstairs just because of his limited mobility. We'll go on the patio in a second. And this is the master bath, another closet in here, which is always nice. Carpet in the bathrooms which I know we all go ick when we see that, but it was the 70s, it was cool then. 
Looks like laminate flooring, fiberglass tub, but tile shower all the way up to the ceiling, actually. Sounds pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, that's sweet. Built-in medicine cabinet here. This is really flush. Cool. Another little closet in here. Tons and tons and tons of storage. This is really cool. All right, let's see if I'm gonna die on camera today when we open this up. Seems to be pretty sturdy. I'm gonna step out here. Cool. So a little bit better look at the siding up here. What a really good view of the neighborhood. So one of the neighbors was telling me kind of just some of the history. The White House that you see through there recently sold, completely remodeled. Um, that dark one that's on the back end where you can kind of see those little steps, recently sold, completely remodeled. Um, here we are with the neighbors next door. Um, I don't know if they've done a remodel recently or not, but you can kind of see into their yard from here. I mean, it's the north end, or, so you can kind of see into everyone. The neighbor that was telling me all this stuff lives back behind those trees there. He has a red truck. Um, two of these homes out here are rentals, and they, I guess, do very well. And then um, two of the other homes in here have also been completely remodeled, as well as the one where you see that driveway has also been completely remodeled. So um, it looks like the home we're showing right now and the one next to us are the two that are kind of due for an upgrade. Um, now that I'm kind of up higher though and I'm looking at the roof, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, it may not even need a new roof. I don't, again, I'm not an expert. You'll want to talk to a home inspector. But just looking at these shingles, I don't see any fiberglass. I don't see any missing shingles just right off the bat. It's not terrible. Let me see if I can get you up high. Uh, trying to get as much into this as I can. Have to review that later, but man, a house with a with a patio off the master like that. This thing is sweet. I really hope she doesn't put it on the market. She put a lockbox on the door. Um, so I don't know if that means they're gonna list soon or what, but we'll see what happens. So here's the other bathroom. Looks like some sort of solid surface. Uh, or not, I don't know what this is. Whatever it is, it's from the 70s, probably some sort of fiberglass. Um, and then tile, not up to the ceiling, but another tile shower, missing a shower head. Looks like the drain's being worked on. Um, probably doing some home projects. And another bedroom. This one is pink, very fitting for being built in the seventies. Everyone had a pink room. Good size closet in there. <clears throat> Let's go down to the basement. I already went to that room. So that's a total of the office downstairs slash bedroom. One, two with the master, three here, four here in terms of bedroom count. When we get downstairs, there is a room that I think could be considered a bedroom because it does have a closet. Um, and it's really weird. It's like a half finished basement. I don't really know how to explain that, um, but it'll make sense when we get down there. Got a cool shelf right here. Same thing, carpet definitely needs to be redone. All right, so we are in the basement and I was kind of expecting when I walked in here to have just like this really big, empty, scary basement and like, it's surprisingly finished. There's still concrete floors down below, but there's like not like that wet musky smell that uh, that some basements have. It actually feels really clean down here. Um, you got all those vintage flags up there too, which are just freaking badass. Um, shout out to Sun Valley, my hometown. Um, but I mean, nice high ceilings. I would say probably I'm about five, 
10 or 5'11". So these are probably eight foot ceilings. Um, feels really open down here. I'm like really surprised. Um, in here we have the water heater and this part is definitely unfinished, obviously, you can see. Um, let's check out the age of this guy. So, I don't see a manufacturer date on here. Yeah, no manufacturer date that I can see. Um, but you can pause it and look up the serial number and see if you can find it there. Um, shoot, I usually like to try to find that stuff because I know it's expensive to replace. I don't know, but from the looks of all the uh, copper pipes and stuff like that, it doesn't look to be any like water intrusion or leaks or anything like that. So that's a plus. And same thing in this room still, even though it's not finished, doesn't feel wet, doesn't feel m like moldy or stuffy or anything like that. Um, in here we have another bathroom. This one is a fiberglass insert all the way around. Definitely needs some cleaning. A good amount of space. You could probably fit a dual vanity down here. Um, and the sink does not work. It does not have a faucet. You do have a little storage closet in here that I opened up. I'm not going to go in there because I am terrified of spiders, but you can see it goes all the way back and I'm assuming around um, home inspector will get in there. <clears throat> and the last one is this like bonus room. That is super badass. I think this could be another bedroom because it does have the closet, the shelves in there. Um, does not have any carpet, but there's wood paneling along the floor. It's all painted, there's lights. This is like sweet. Um, he does have like the old school sound system hooked up there. Um, with it, you know, hooked up to the wall here with the volume control, so. Again, just 70s houses, I love them. Built super funky and cool. All right. Give you one last look at this room real quick. Cool. Let's go back upstairs. All right, well that is what the house looks like on the inside. Um, I got you guys the backyard, as much of the roof as I could. Obviously an in-person showing and a home inspection would definitely be warranted on this. Um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I will go ahead and sign off. And uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I can reach out to the listing agent and figure out what we need to do. But like I said before, this home has tons of potentials. The comps on it are crazy high. Um, I don't know what they've decided since we spoke last, but if they do decide to list, I don't know what that list is going to be for. I know originally when I was talking to the listing agent, she was thinking um, when they talked months ago before the market started to slow down, they were around like that 650 range. So we really want to try to scoop that up before um, it goes on the market because I don't want to see it at the 650. Um, it's going to eat up all that uh potential equity if you were to flip this guy so anyways i will talk to you guys later and uh see you around